Good Saturday morning to my Algebra 2 class. So as I had promised on Friday, I'm going to walk you through a little tutorial. We're going to be doing number 43 on the summer packet. Uh, whoops. I'll do the piece. We're going to do number 43 on the summer packet. That's the word problem um, where they talk about having a certain amount of yards of material to make a fence, and they want to maximize the amount. So let's start out with how to get the equations. So first let's read through the problem. A farmer has available 188 yards of fencing and wishes to enclose a rectangle rectangular area. Given the length of the rectangle, given the length of the rectangle is x, write the width of the rectangle in terms of x. Write an equation that represents the area of the rectangle a as a function of the width x. Use a graphing utility to graph this equation for the area of the rectangle and find the value of the width x that gives the largest area. Quick disclaimer, so I just shot the whole video and realized I made one error. Uh, the error is that when I look at my diagram here, I it's sort of in the middle if, you, if it's not obvious. So I put 188 minus 2x that is the value of both of the sides rather than just one of them. So my final answer that I came to in this video, I'm just not gonna redo the whole thing. The, the final answer is double what it should be because I've found the, I've found 94 was my final answer rather than 47. So just keep that in mind as you're watching. I'm not gonna refilm it, but just keep that in mind. So this is the drawing I did right here. So we look at, I have the rectangle, I know that one is going to be x, and I know that what I have in total is 188 yards. So I know that all I'm gonna have left is 188 minus whatever this is, is going to be what I'll have on either side of here. So I said area is equal to x times that value. From there, I foiled that out to get negative 2x squared plus 180x plus 0. Next, I'm going to go over to my graphing calculator. And what we're going to look for is it's asking for the maximum. So we want to know, first off, we know that by the fact that this right here is negative um, and this right here is a square, first off, we know we're going to have a, pol we're going to have a polynomial. We're going to have a quadratic function. So if I were to sketch a graph right here, it's a little awkward because the way I'm holding my pen to be in the camera, um, we know that because the leading coefficient is negative, that it is going to be going downwards. That was horrible U-shape. So we know that it's going to look something like that. And if we're finding the maximum, we want to look for what is the highest point since this is A, we want to know what is the highest value of, we would normally say y, or the highest value of the function. So we're going to be looking for this. So we want to go into our graph and calculators, put this into the y equals, and now I'm going to walk you through that. So first off, we're going to want to go to y equals. So we're going to go to this button here. Once you're in y equals, we want to put in negative 2x squared. So we're going to put in the negative, which is down here, 2 and then we're gonna to go to this button that has x, a t, a theta, and an n. Click that. And then we're going to square it. So you can't see it as well in mine. Yours, it should be right over here. It's gonna say x to the two. You can also, if you had to do a different exponent, you could use this little caret key. So I'm actually gonna do that right now. It's the same thing, caret, and then I would put two, because it's gonna be an exponent. Then I'm going to do plus 188x, so Where's the plus, 188, and then again, that x. So now my equation should look like that. Um, negative 2 caret, yes, I know there's a, there's a little bar through my, this is because this calculator is from like 2003. All right, so we have our equation. Now we're going to go to graph. So likely most of you will not immediately see the whole thing. We're not going to get to see that nice um, upside down U-shaped parabola that we had talked about. So what we're going to do is go to zoom over here. You go to zoom and we're going to say zoom fit. So it should be about the 10th option. 
go down. You can actually go up to go quicker. Zoom fit right there. Click enter. And what that should do is adjust the window so that we can actually see the function inside of it. All right, so now we can see a lot more of it. We still can't necessarily see the maximum. So what I'm gonna do is go to zoom and then zoom out. Cause I don't wanna see all that. I wanna see, I wanna see something different. So I'm gonna hit zoom out. For me, it's option three. So if I hit enter, that'll just zoom it out. All right, I can come, looks like you can see the max. I'm gonna do it one more time. Beautiful, all right, now we have a pretty good idea of where it's gonna be. So we're gonna now use the calculator to find the exact maximum on there. So if I go over to trace, um, what it will do is it'll put my cursor on it and I can just go left to right. I don't know if you can see it on there. Oh, let's try the other way. Okay, so we can't see it moving, so instead I'm gonna try this. So sometimes that will work. In this case, it's not. So we're gonna hit second and trace, so we hit that calc button. So second, trace. And what you could do is you could go value and you could input a value that you want to test out what the, if you put in the X value, it'll give you the Y. You can find out what the zeros are. We're not interested in that. Right now we want the maximum. We wanna see where the highest is. So we're gonna go down to, there's minimum, here's maximum, hit enter. All right, and what it's asking, it's gonna say over here, left bound, question mark. So I wanna bring my cursor over to the left. All right, and we see that it's definitely left of it. From there, hit enter. Some people um, just kinda hope, so this is how it's originally meant to do. Some people just hit enter, enter, enter. Um, I like to do it the way it was designed. Next, it's going to say right bound. So go over just right of. All right, so that's definitely right of it. Hit enter. Now it's going to say guess. So if you can also notice, there's an arrow there and an arrow there. And those are saying, yeah, we're pretty sure that the maximum is in between those spots. So now I'm going to try to put my cursor about where it looks like the maximum is. And it should give me an answer. So if you look very closely, it's going to say 46.999996 for X and Y equals 4,418. So my guess is we actually want to have 47.0. Um, and that's just the calculator being itself. Uh, I'm not sure why it gave us that answer quite. But we can test that out now. So, so I'm gonna write down my equation. A equals negative two x squared plus 188 x. And what I wanna test out is that that solution actually works. So I'm gonna put in a 47 where x is. For both x's. Then I'm this might not always be necessary, but I'm gonna do it anyway because it's good practice. 4, 4, 1, 8. And we're going to just check to see that both sides are equal to each other. So I'm going to go ahead and use my calculator to find out what 47 squared is. So I'm going to go to, let's see, I'm just going to quit out of here. Second mode is quit. All right, and then I'm going to hit 47, and this button right here is a squared. And then I hit enter. It gives me 2,209. So I'm gonna write negative two times two thousand two hundred nine plus, and then again, use my calculator, one eighty eight, one eighty eight times forty seven. It's gonna give me eight thousand eight hundred thirty six, and that looks kind of like a five. All right, so from here, um, I mean, we we know pretty much how to do this. So we're gonna be subtracting this from this. Let's see, minus. I can just do that in my head, 4,418, 4,418 gives me 4,418, and both of those are equal to each other, check. So that is a, we know that that point definitely lies within 
our graph here. And so that is going to tell us that x is equal to 47. And now we can check to see what this is supposed to be. So 188 minus 2x or 188 minus 2 times 47 should be, let's see, 45 times 2 is 90. Add another 2 times, so it should be 94. 188 minus 94. Is that right? 47 times 2. Yep, 94. And then again, I'm just going to use my calculator. It gives me 94. So this right here is the same as saying 94. So four, 47 by 94, and that should give me 4,418. And it does. So there you have it. So that is how to use your graphing calculator to try to figure out by writing in a polynomial into y, y equals, putting it into the graph, and then looking on the graph to see where the maximum is. Some other people realize that if they squared 47, because they started looking at what numbers, um, if they took, I'm trying to remember how they said they did it. They took uh, 188 and they tried to figure out what numbers would maximize it. Some people actually just figured out that it would have to be the most middle number possible squared. So some people figured that out. Some people did not. can't remember if I'm making a mistake. Either way, the point is, is that you saw how to use the calculator. If there is a mistake in here, it's okay. The point is that you saw how to use a calculator, um, how to put something in the y equals, how to see it on the graph when you don't see it showing up immediately, then how to find a specific point on that graphing calculator um, when you're looking for, in this case, it was a maximum. You could probably figure out the same, it's the same instructions if you need to find a minimum. Next, I'm going to give you how to solve a system of equations using your calculator. Thank you for watching. Stay weird.